I'm Gabrielle Volsek. I'm in the School of Engineering. My name is Rowena. I'm from East Lansing, Michigan. I have lived my whole life in Tokyo. I'd really like to be part of creating something that becomes integral to people's lives. It'll take me four years to figure out exactly where I want to go. My major will be aerospace engineering. I can make the way we travel through air and space faster. I believe there's a faster way. I can make it happen. I feel a little awkward. Apparently, I agreed to do a video uh, four years ago. I'm here to kind of look at the uh, video I made I don't know, four years ago and kind of cringe a little bit at my awkwardness. At that time, I was a 17-year-old. I was just saying a bunch of things that I thought would sound cool. I don't know. I feel like I was very unsure the last time I sat here. I was sitting here trying to sort through all the options of what I could do. My name's Wayne Lester. I remember that shirt. <laughs> I got rid of that shirt. <laughs> I'd really like to be part of creating Gosh, something loud. that becomes integral to people's lives. I'm always well, shocked by how high my voice is. Real life and, and I plan to study material science engineering. I also want to join Society for Women Engineers. I'm hoping to join a campus orchestra because I play viola. I'm like still involved with Society of Women Engineers. I'm still in this campus orchestra. Oh, I really stuck to script, didn't I? I hope that I find something that I'm really passionate about and look forward to finding a career in. I think I found that, so good job, me. I just want to like, I want to have a presence. I want to have a purpose at the university. To me, just that first day of class is still one of my favorite memories. I've gone from being this person who likes to stay in their comfort zone, in their own shell, to being a person who wants to experience new things and that's come about in my four years at Michigan. I'm pretty excited about energy. I kind of found somewhere where my skills and what I enjoy doing match an interest and kind of a need in society. Like the core of me has stayed the same, which is kind of cool. I just kind of found somewhere that that core can be happier. It's pretty cliche to say time flies by, but I mean, it really did. It's definitely kind of crazy that like, that'll be it. Like that'll be just a chapter of my life that kind of like, um, has unfortunately come to a close. Bittersweet, I guess. That's not, that's not like actually a feeling, but that's, that's, how it, that's how I feel. I'm really excited to kind of wrap everything up and put a pretty bow on it, but then I have to give it away, right? Um. I will remember my friends. Believe it or not, I think these are some of the smartest people I've met in my life so far. The time I've spent with these people just growing and evolving over the last four years has been incredible. I think that I'll really remember everyone that has helped me get to this place. Those teachers, their efforts weren't just for nothing. They didn't just throw away their time on some, some black kid who thinks that he might go somewhere or that he might not end up on the street. I really just want to go back and, and give them hugs and really tell them that I've come this far and that I've made it so far. I think it's sped up. I think that freshman year and sophomore year, they felt longer than senior year has felt. I'm kind of in the same almost position as I was freshman year, nervous but also excited. I've done the classes, I've done all that stuff. Like at this point, I'm ready to move on. Right now I'm like 22 years old, and so I feel like I have like a whole life ahead of me. Where I want to end up has stayed the same, while some of the steps to get there have clearly changed a little bit. I don't know everything yet, but I'm still willing to learn. And I think I'm always going to have to be. Being here was a really great and rewarding experience, and I'm sad to leave it, but at the same time excited to see what the future holds.